It was days ago that Benjamin Netanyahu crossed the line once again, claiming that Israel could and should attack Iran without the consent of either the U.S. or the world. Iran protested diplomatically in a letter on Wednesday reminding the U.N. Security Council that such tough talk is in flagrant violation of the most fundamental provisions of the charter and the basic principles of international law, which prohibit any act of aggression, unquote. On Thursday, Secretary General Ban Ki-moon spokesman said he was aware of the letter but couldn't confirm official receipt, and he reminded reporters that Ban always stands opposed to warlike behavior, including in this case. Uh, I'm aware that uh, a letter has been publicized. Um, I've, I've seen uh, an emailed uh, copy of that letter uh, from the mission, but I do not yet know for sure that uh, the Secretary General has uh, received it officially. Um, so I'll need to, to check on that. But uh, th in any case, the Secretary General has said uh, many times uh, that uh, the tensions in the region need to, and, and differences in the region need to be dealt with uh, through a, a dialogue. And uh, he's also expressed his concern about uh, rhetoric uh, with regard uh, to, to uh, the, this particular topic. And I don't think that his views will have changed on that. Ban's views don't seem to have changed Israel's tough talk either. And there was no word on whether any further scolding of Israel would come from the UN. Israel's steady threats to hit Iranian nuclear centers began many months ago, despite reports from a wide range of intelligence officials that Iran's claims to have no nuclear weapon are in fact true. Israel's cry for military strikes have earned a widespread rebuke. But in the topsy-turvy world of the UN, there's not a lot said either at today's Security Council meeting on Libya or elsewhere, despite the fact that peace and security are among the Security Council's top obligations. Iranian Ambassador Mohammad Khazayi took it upon himself to point out the hypocrisy in the General Assembly when speaking there on Monday, wondering where the sanctions are for Israel's dozens of unacknowledged nuclear warheads. It is a source of grave concern that those who have chosen not to accede to the NPT not only are not subject to any pressure to do so, but are also encouraged and generously rewarded in different ways. A living example is the well-documented assistance and cooperation provided by certain Western countries, in particular the United States and the two nuclear weapon states members of the European Union, the United Kingdom and France, <coughs> to the Israeli regime. Iran has protested Israel's threats to the same UN bodies before, but its appeals have gone further with the Non-Align Movement, which has issued specific statements condemning Israel's threatening stance. In its letter to the Security Council on Wednesday, Iran also made sure to remind the Council that Iran is well within its rights to defend itself if and when it is attacked. Hank Flynn, Press TV, New York.